Okay, guys. Hello again. We are going to continue our playthrough of Alpha Protocol on hard difficulty. Uh, within the previous episode, we haven't completed any real uh, missions with the gameplay, but we've met all the informants we could have. So we laid the foundation and our infrastructure for further attempts to complete the story. So as it stands, uh, we are going. We are now going to travel back to Italy in Rome and after that we are going to attempt to infiltrate uh, the CIA listening post on the other hand we could identify Jibril Albarez Chateau You know what, I think it's a good idea. I think it's actually a good idea. Dossier information on Jibril Albara, purchase in this intel, okay. Uh, maybe we should, or we should put back say listening post first. Yeah, I think we are going to identify him because this mission is easier and by doing this we will be able to get some extra experience. Yeah, let's identify the Albar and the Chateau. You in place? Yep. Got a good view of the estate where this meeting is supposed to take place. What now? Albar is our target. He's supposed to be here tonight. Oh, glad I brought this rifle. But what's the deal with the scope? It can transmit images to me in real time. Aim at someone, and I'll run their picture through the database. See if we get a match. The longer you focus on a target, the quicker I can make an ID. The ID is all I need. And if the target's a scumbag, I take him out? That's your call. If you decide to shoot, just make sure you don't do it if the target's inside of a camera or another person. Okay. We don't know who Albara's meeting, so taking anyone else out may have... Repercussions, depending on who their friends are. By the way, the sincerity here is crazy. He made a name for himself last year with a controversial exhibit in Paris. Some local juvenile offenses, but otherwise he's clean. Not our target. Yeah, the sincerity is crazy. a sports car dealership in Naples. Does a lot of international business, but no criminal record. Not our guy. Okay. I didn't do anything. I'm and trying to keep it steady. The guards are clear. Moving up to the next position. 500 experience for this? Why? Really? But like, for... Much more difficult objectives, I got like 100. Alright, let's begin. Security guard. He's clean. Dutch flower baron. He's suspected of dipping into the drug trade. But that's all I've got. Nothing really incriminating. Well, she's a little underdressed. Definitely a cold night from the looks of it. All right, Mike. celebrity talk show host. He's a known meth user, but nothing related to financing terrorists or arms smuggling. We can catch the news later. 
provided we all make it. Okay, that's interesting actually. Security, ex special forces, not our man, but definitely a professional. He planned and led the assault that took back the hijacked British jet last year. I remember reading about that. Should I get an autograph for him? No, I work for the infamous Mike Thornton. <laughs> Compared to you, he's small time. I'm in position overlooking the chateau. A lot of guests tonight. I see. Mike, be very careful. I know. I want a mob after me before we have a target. He's a curator for one of the museums in town. His latest exhibit on the Crusades has drawn some fire, but otherwise he's clean. It's quite a long time. He's got a bestseller right now on corporate involvement in the Middle East. Is any good? I'm waiting for the movie. Anyway, nothing on him. Uh, so you would understand, guys, I can literally kill any of those guys. Not that I want to do. Yeah, this is him, I guess. from the West Bank about 10 years ago and serves on the board of directors for the Christian Islamic Confederation. <laughs> He's practically a saint. Keep looking. Him. That's Albara. That's him. Taking Hold on. A lot of State Department and Interpol records. State Department says he's dirty. Interpol says his finances are legitimate, though. And. Mean, do I take him out? None of these State Department records are sourced. I can't tell where they came from or when. Best I can tell, their intel was added to his sheet a few months before you left for Saudi Arabia. He's a member of Al Samad, right? I don't know. I'd say yes. But, but I might be wrong. You can take him out or we can abort. It's up to you. Well, I can't kill... I can't really kill somebody who... I'm not sure he's guilty of anything. Besides, that will attract a lot of attention to me, so... We are going to abort. I'm aborting the mission. Alright, Mike. We require some perks, some experience. Actually, lots of experience. Boss objective, Agent Tort identified all the guests at the gate without being spotted. Agent Torton identified all the guests. Guess how they have been spotted. 
Agent Thor identified Albara and wait for the background check to be complete. Upon receiving the information, Albara ties to Shahid were confirmed, but he seemed innocent of any wrongdoing. So Agent Thor departed the premises after making a positive ID. It seems Agent Thor's activities in the room has been successful. In a covering Halbeck's plans, upon returning to the safe house, Thornton had message waiting for him requesting to meet at the local cafe concerned Halbeck. Okay, cool. Let's see. What's, what's that going beeping on noise? Coalition forces report sporadic outbreaks of violence across the Middle East, believed to be part of a power struggle between rival terrorist organizations. Army spokesman Kurt. We need to meet Mr. Thornton. If you stalk a man with political and criminal connections, kill him before he uses his contacts to track you down. I know that you were lurking outside the chateau, but I don't know why. Consider my interest peaked. I refuse to let you intimidate me. Let's meet face to face. See if you have the guts to kill me in broad daylight. Meet me in Cafe Trion Forum. I got this email. From Jibril seems a little odd that he found out who I was and other still he wants to talk with me. If you have a moment, see if you can trade this email for me and pull up some intel. Let's investigate instead. I'm not going to Fire meet man, him now. Suspected Osma terrorist training camp on the outskirts of Jazal was destroyed yesterday, allegedly in a daring daytime raid by members of the Altai. Yeah, we definitely have some skills to work with now. Advanced concealment. I would say we need to restore our combat strength first. So I'm going to do it like that. Let's take a look. I'm going to buy those dossiers. The recent infiltration difficulty. Yes, and those information CIA. Nice. Designer Robin Poulet's latest show in New York was. This report sporadic outbreaks of violence. And let's drop a safe. Violence across the Middle East, believed to be part of a power struggle between rival terrorist organizations. Let's take a look at our inventory. We are going to get this night operation armor. Uh, we are going to install printing secretary. So we could hack stuff easier. We're not going to need this first aid kit. Uh, we are going to bring EMP charges instead. Instead of those explosive grenades, we are going to bring sound generator. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's get going. A new museum exhibit has caused chaos in the this is will be the, the one, maybe the only mission where I'm actually not going to knock everybody in conscience. I'm just going to lurk around. I'm in. Seems pretty quiet. It is a listening post. The CIA is upstairs, and they probably have a guard in the lobby. So keep an eye out. Will do. Going to take a quick look around. Luckily, I now have a, a master. A master version of awareness ability, so I don't need to activate it. Cable's cut. Huh? What do you mean static? All right, we'll check downstairs. And I've got to level up. Yeah, okay, I'm going to buy another point of style running. Aptitude. Weapons rechambering. 
I guess I'll save those points for now. Wait, what? I've got only four ability points for the level up? Whoa, that sucks, balls. I thought it's going to be 10 for every level, but... Yeah. Probably blew another fuse. What am I, the fucking electrician? I need a flashlight. Let's see, 5 intel discount from all sources, state of execution, cage match, betting man. Okay, well. the wiring. Now if I do a bypass, I put the clip on the lead one, then a clip on lead five. No, wait, is that lead seven? <sighs> Damn circuit boards. Mike, it looks like the third floor camera is being run by a dummy console on the second floor. If you can find it, you can loop the feed and sneak past. Uh, let's deactivate cameras. Okay, I don't want to sound the alarm. Let's be careful. I would rather wait. Accessing the database and downloading the software. All right. Receiving. We're good. Listening in on the listening post. Gotta love this job. I'll just disable it using the MP. <laughs> Big data quite nice. Uh, now we need to get to the upper floor somehow. Why do they even have their uh, weapons in their hands? Oh fuck. Be careful. Yeah. I mean, as it stands, we didn't even need the shadow operative ability, but we'll see how it goes.
Let's try to hack email system. And access the emails itself. There's the fits. AP? Vince, do letters AP mean anything to you? And no, please. Oh, please, don't bring up your porn inspired interpretation of what the letters might mean. I might be hallucinating, but I was running schemes on the echelon and I could have sworn I picked up a ton of emails with AP in the subject of text, but as soon as I looked, they were gone like someone yanked them out of the filter just as soon as I saw them. As I typed it, I realized how insane it sounds. Anyway, let me know if that makes any sense. Oh, and speaking of eavesdropping on emails, you might just want to tell your wife about your girlfriend because... Well, if you're a sailor with a girl that reports, she is a girl with a sailor. She's a sailor. Uh, she's a girl with a sailor on every ship. And seriously, that woman sends the filthiest emails I've read, and I've read everyone's email. A hey, sexy. Hi, honey. I can't wait to see you. Only another week. I can't believe they sent you to South Carolina. I mean, really, they should pay you double for having to set foot in this god-awful place. When, when are you going to retire and stop traveling all the time? I mean, it would be one thing if you work for the government and they sent you to excited places like Istanbul or Rome, but I can't. But can't you sell a living sheds without having to go on months-long business trips? Oh, well, I miss you, love, B. Cool. Well, they actually sent him to a cool place. She must, she probably must be excited. Control room's locked from the inside. No other entrances I can see. Looks like the only way to get it to open is to get them to open it. I'll think of something. Looks like an air conditioning duct. Too small to fit through, but I just ought to do the trick. What are you doing? Mike, don't kill them. There's got to be another way. Just giving them a scare. A little something I learned in third period science. What the hell? Fuck this shit! Okay, let's download the database. Access the emails themselves. Georgia update 1811. We received another dead drop communique from the curveball. Claims our rogue is operating in Taiwan. Great, really narrows it down. A lot of help that is. You know the drill though. Start filtering snooping. S. Roberts Albar. Okay, a bit more on subject Albar. Found an al operative that was willing to talk after a few minutes of fake drawing. Drowning, he tells me Albar is some kind of academic. Academician, he doesn't know what field of study or university. One thing for certain, he is verified the prior contacts claim that Albaras is operating in and around Italy. I'm sure a simple check for investors in the area should turn up information on him. I'll update if you extract more. And Georgia. We have a curveball rumor of a rabbit asset operating our sector. The contact is unverified and claims to be a deep mole and gave us a valid confirmation code, which makes this rumor auctionable. We are going to do this one by the book and not take any chances on opening an internal thread audit. This is uh, open as Georgia, send any leads to information to the subject docket. First thing we need to know, agency. The contact didn't give us full details on who this spy was working for, CIA, NSA, MI6, Mossad, I assume anything. See, I wasn't lying when I said we are grasping at straws. In case this one is ours, move all dispatches to, ne to need to know the cementation list until further noticed. Okay. Cool. So we are basically done here, but we are actually not. We 
are actually not done yet and we need to wait for this guy to move around Okay, let's break this in. Silencer Mark III, this is the main prize, but the rest of the items are also okay. They're also pretty good. So that didn't do anything. Maybe it should have unlocked the door or something, I don't know. Now we only need to get the hell out unnoticed. This Mark III silencer is going to be great. I've also picked up some tranquilizer rounds finally. Should be pretty useful. Okay, I need to wait for this ability to cool down, otherwise uh, there is a chance that I might be spotted. I also want to use this one. Get the perk.
What? Oh, fuck! No! Okay, I'm going to load the last checkpoint. Yeah, well, that sucked. I mean, why, why am I even messing around? I mean, I've got silent running. Why, why should I not just use it? Thirty seconds duration, for fuck's sake! Snuff just run away like crazy. I'm also not sure why there are no alarm guys any longer. It seems like they just simply despawned. Yeah, that's how it should have been done. Avoid evidence trail. Nice. Under the radar. Agent Thornton infiltrated a CIA listening post conducting investigation into Alsama's presence in Rome. Thornton was tasked with infiltrating his listening post, downloading the results of the investigation, bugging the CIA computers to retrieve further developments. Thornton was allowed to avoid detection and not to engage American agents. A bonus objective during the mission, Agent Thornton avoided detection completely, preventing the CIA and the listening post from becoming aware of his presence. They should help conceal his presence in Rome from local and international agencies, affect no attention gain in Rome. Bonus objective used creative problem solving. Agent Thornton flushed guards out of the monitor room by sabotaging the post ventilation system. Okay, cool. New intel is available. A devastating attack on a U.S. base in Dahran has left several Marines dead. An early morning raid by members of an Azov... You store items as well? Killed 20 soldiers and left over 30 injured. Yeah, well... Still a threat? Authors from best-selling... 
Clearing house credential, a contract of mine put me in touch with a black market dealer in your area, someone operating the LS of listeners. I had added you to the list of approved buyers on his clean house store extension. Hopefully you won't need a small arsenal to get the job done, but if you need weapons and supplies, here another potential source. Note to self. So we are basically sending the copy of this of incriminating messages. Mr. Lennon, the tunnel ceiling collapse along the Lefort of a tunnel was indeed due to faulty construction on our end. I'm not percent certain it's due to the epoxy used on the ceiling cement. We ended with a short term adhesive due to its fractional cost and the sheet and the sheet came loose. To our death, one is injured. Don't worry, Chief. I've already got the cover story rolling. The collapse took place uh, near the entrance and I have paid off three Moscow news networks to report the truck drove along the overpass at Far City, the bridge posted weight rating. This layer report is what caused our perfectly safe tunnel to suffer a minor structural anomaly. I can either tell send this to Scarlet. The black market. Or I can send it back to Leland himself. Mr. Leland found some interesting reading in tunnel collapse in Moscow. It's not the bad engineer in the mix for a good reason, it's the cover up. I've made the copies and can easily hit the lead key. All I need is untraceable donation to an offshore banking account. Money can't buy a competent civil engineer, but it can't buy my silence. That's what we're going to do. I bet you wish we are here. We had a new recruit join the agency today. We put him through the hazing ritual and we handled the guards and gunfire with Norman Steel, except for, well, when he finally came into weapons range, I could smell something a little fierce. Turns out he crept himself during the exercise. On the one hand, he was drugged, terrified, disoriented, and shot himself. On the other hand, he was such a pro that he didn't let jokes trap full of ways get between him and the ace performance. I guess we're still trying to figure out what to do with him. So, for a part question, miss me? Do I miss? Okay, let's be funny here. Shahid situation. This email sent from CIA listening post. Department of Defense denies it. UK, Israel, Turkey all deny it. They're not just saying this because they're afraid so they're a bitch about missile attacks on the assault. They're genuinely sure of who fired those missiles. Bad theory we have is rival terrorists. That of course raises the question. Why and more importantly, where did they get the missiles? Please tell me one of your guys ordered this hit at least. Then we would know who pulled the trigger. After all, the nine folders were easy to investigate the mystery. Pete, remember the days we were not we weren't allowed to spy on citizens of when they had jurisdiction over foreigners? I should thank those terrorists for making my job a lot more fun. On the subject attached is the Leland bit I was telling you about. Hope you're not trying to work up a case on this guy. He has more friends in government than Washington DC whore. Now don't lecture me about the insecure nature of the of email, blah 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 blah. We are CA, we stop on people's email and the other way around. Yeah, right. I don't know you were a local fascination. Mike just heads up, someone been running a lot of web searches with keywords Mike Thornton and Michael Thornton in the Milan area. Whoever is doing it did it through Halbeck Milan office computer, though they use public terminals, our country is back to a particular end user. I'll let you know if I find out more. Well done. I'm glad you were able to get out in and out of listening post without any loss of life. No doubt you have a lot of hate for the government that sold you out, but I'm glad you understand that those men in the listening post are fellow citizens of yours who had no hand it what happened to you. Alright. Hey Mike, that email address indeed Jibrils and it was sent from a Roman IP address that said doesn't governments have Albar on the watch list and unless someone's run an excellent decoy orchestration, Albar has been spotted fleeing Italy on the first flight the Turkey he could find. I'm pretty sure it's a setup, though Cafe Tionfo is a pretty odd place to kill someone without drawing the crowd. It's call, it's your call, but I would suggest going there and keeping your wits about you, okay? Makes sense, I suppose. 
so we can buy a dossier on Marburg. Uh, we will do this, sure. Okay, cool. Oh, we've got a lot of different shotguns. Their damage varies, but in all honesty, it's like about 10%, so. Huh, I want this rifle. Same as mine, but the upgraded version of it. Tactical combat armor, tactical utility, advanced utility. Ah, oh, carbide metrics. Whoa. Yeah, this is expensive as hell. I don't care about duration, a penetrant upgrade kit. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. Shock trap upgrade kit. Allows a single trap to hit two targets. Yeah, it takes a lot of funds to upgrade all that, so I'll just keep my funds to me for now. The Middle East believed to be part of a power struggle between rival terrorist organizations. Army spokesman Colonel J. Robert Powers tells INN that a suspected Osama terrorist training camp on the outskirts of Tucson was destroyed yesterday, allegedly in a daring daytime raid by members of the Al Tair sect. Yeah, well, let's contact Jabril. I'll. Albara, why not? We have a dossier in Marble, so we are likely to know who we're going to meet now. This is to be my last mission for the day. No sign of Albara yet. Maybe he stood you up. I've never been stood up in my life. Someone has a high opinion of themselves. I'm just stating the facts. Sorry, that's switch off your transmitter. If you reach for your gun, one of my men will put a bullet in your skull. Transmitter's off. I don't plan on reaching for my gun unless you make it necessary. Once I have the information I need, I plan to leave. You will not be harmed. Perhaps you thought you could enter Rome under the radar. You almost did. But you broadcast your location. Eventually. I'm here to find out what Halbeck is doing in Rome and their ties to Al Samad. And what led you to believe that Halbeck has any interests in Rome or Al Samad? I, I just thought I didn't Are you denying through. that either one is true? Speed this one I do up. not believe you would have come here without evidence. But what makes you think that? You aren't here in an official capacity. You are operating under Alpha Protocol. Interesting. Considering the program secret, I would have expected you to say traitor, unless you have insider knowledge. If you think you're the first to be abandoned by your government, you would be wrong. You are Michael Thornton. Straight out of Langley. Perhaps they felt the untouched. 
Untouchables approach would benefit them. I'm an operative now. After Saudi, I had to change my five-year plan. I'm guessing you're here to confirm the file you have on me. Anything else you need to check? Reports place you as someone loyal to your country, and who believes in carrying their missions through. Is that so odd? In today's day and age, yes. But not to me. So you know a great deal about me, and I know who you are. You're Leyland's right-hand man, his lackey, toady, henchman. And you wear those gloves to keep the blood off your hands. I've read your dossier. You've lived a full life. Kuwait, South Africa, that oil refinery explosion in Moscow. It's like a concert tour with you. Yes. You, on the other hand, have managed to enter Rome quietly. I didn't know you were here until an hour ago. You're skilled at keeping a low profile. No murders. No public announcement. Very impressive. What happened to Albara? Dead, of course. Once you'd ID'd him, well, his use to me was at an end. In less than a day's time, you have already managed to cause me considerable inconvenience. Now, tell me what you're doing here. I was tracking down a lead, and it looks like I've found it. I see. So you thought all you had to do was wait and we would speak. Interesting. What I don't understand, though, is why we're talking at all. Unless keeping me alive is important for some reason. I have orders. And I am a cautious person. So am I. And I think we have room to negotiate. No. I am not authorized to make deals. Besides, I believe you have nowhere to go for help. In that situation, it is a rare man who goes to his enemy's door. So, yes, this is a social call. A warning. You have proven yourself capable, but pursuing this course of action will not serve you any longer. Go underground, hide, but stay out of our way. Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. We know you've been in contact with one of your fellow agents. That contact will die if you persist, and then we will kill you. There's nothing you can do to me, Marburg. Go ahead, kill everyone, make some money, retire. I'll find you eventually, I promise. I do not believe you're willing to let others die needlessly, or else you would not be here. You know nothing about me except what you've read in a file. You're in for a surprise. So we're done here. I leave Rome, leave you to your plan, and that's it. Yes. What you do next is up to you, but there are only two immediate choices. Leave, you live. Stay, you die. You don't seem like the corporate stooge type. In fact, you seem like someone who doesn't take orders at all, especially from someone like Leyland. Are you questioning my loyalty? I am, but not in the way you think. I've read your dossier. From where I'm standing, it doesn't seem like Halbeck's any better than the governments that you've served with. In fact, they're like a government unto themselves, and if you think for a second that they give a rat's ass about their employees, then you're twice the fool. Do you seriously think they wouldn't leave you out to dry if they had to? Your attention to detail and history borders on obsessive. <laughs> you may live through this after all. Leave Rome. If we see each other again, it will be the last time. Bonus objective, Margo express admiration for Agent Thornton's ability to keep a low profile. Rome and Thornton had been so covered, Mark had known he'd even entered the city until recently. The connection between Margo, the VCI, Halbeck and Al's smart presence in Rome is still unclear. Margo threatened that any further investigation attempts would result in the death of Agent Thornton and anyone else allied with him. Upon return to the safe house, Mina picked up a phone trace from a VCI employee working with the Warburg attempted to contact local authorities. Contacts Medicine St. James, new mission. Okay. That's interesting. I confess, you slipped into Rome almost without us noticing. You were even more difficult to track after that. Between Halbeck and local authorities, the locals were the tough ones. No matter. Mr. Marburg found you. That must have been a surprise. 
meeting up for lunch like that. When we talked, he had a lot to say about Halbeck and some suggestions about my involvement with your corporation. Really? I can rarely get three words from the man. Well, feel free to have him threaten you whenever you get tired of listening to yourself. I'd be curious to hear more and your first impression of Mr. Marburg. What did you discuss? We discussed business. Turns out both of us have experience with abuse of authority. He described you as a man of your word. Patriotic, I believe, also came into the conversation. But Mr. Marburg was not always the best judge of character. Nor does he instill much loyalty in employees. Speaking of which, this woman entered the picture not long after your meeting with Marburg. She was in our office in Rome. Madison, I believe. Yes. I always wondered, did you ever regret getting her into this? It wasn't my choice. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. In the end, it was. Well, it wasn't. She would have died otherwise, so... Mike, we may have a problem. The VCI employee I mentioned before, Madison, I think she's going to act. What do you mean, now? She's calling the operator and asking for you by name. She can't be working for Marburg, unless this is a trap. Who is she calling? The city directory. And maybe the police next. If she does... Can you intercept the call? Redirect it? What? Why? I want to know why she's looking for me. Okay, let me patch her through. Operator? Miss St. James? Uh, hello? Yes, is this the operator? No, Miss St. James, this is Michael Thornton. Oh, thank God. Mr. Thornton, please, you have to listen to me. I don't believe we've met before. How do you know my name and why are you calling? I have reason to believe your life is in danger. I know it sounds crazy, but... You don't say. I don't want to discuss the details over the phone. This line may be tapped. She is a sharp one. But it's important I speak to you immediately. Uh, let's is be there practical. There is no time to be suggestive. Of course. I'll send you the address of a local restaurant. All right. I still have to hail a cab. I'll have one sent to your cross streets. Oh. Okay. I'll see you soon, Miss St. James. Okay, yeah, let's handle ourselves nicely. Well, I guess we might as well meet her. And then this is going to be the last mission. Oh, yeah. After weighing the cost of a legal battle with the city of Moscow versus the cost of paying you, I've opted for the latter. Nobody takes my money and gets away with it. I'll find you eventually. For now, enjoy the money while it lasts. Cool. Plus 15k. Thank you very much, Leyland. This mail is sent from the NSA tab established in Rome. And we are hearing some chatter from CIA about the Georgia situation, it's an internal affair, it's also subject to interdependent sharing, it's, it is, of course, in our best interest to stay informed. His station brief, someone claiming to be a deep mall report the ropes US agent operates outside of the US, thus CNB in charge of us. The mall did not say which agency is involved. The mall used an NSA verification code when contacting its government to prove his identity as a mall. Which is why it's a total bullshit that we are not in the loop officially. The rogue agent was alleged to have been operating in Saudi Arabia, possibly linked to Shahinis. If you find anything, send me send it to me first and share it with CIA without it first coming to my desk. I bet you wish were there here. I'm not just trying to flirt, I'm going next to the job of it, if I may say so myself. Now I have to get back to optimizing the memory usage of my proxy bypass program. If I show too much human motion one email, I might lose my reputation of frizzy, as frigid bitch of the gray box. Mina. DV server. I know you worked uh, at facility for all of like five minutes before your first mission, but did you ever get login credentials for DV server? I'm guessing not, but I figured you'd ask. I thought I knew every server and terminal in this facility, but I've heard Parker's matter something to Westridge about sifting around the DV server, okay? Cordial. During my very first brief, I was provided login. Chimera. Brief. Let's be snarky. User Mr. Torton. Password Mill Flower. Oh my god, let's do it. 
Yeah, minus one relations, but at least it was funny. Hey Mike, take a look at this email by take it with a grain of salt. It's an Alsmat transmission. The sender IPs checks out as coming from the area Alsmat have been alleged to operate and the codes used as those seen in prior Alsmat missives bounced around Europe. What's odd is that I've never seen Alsmat communicate an email distribution list this large. Their cells never talk to each other to to minimize what information will get uh, leaked should someone be interrogated cave in. So with that in mind, read on. We meet at the ruins. Time code Algol. Agenda. They still with the weapons from this acquisition to so discuss agenda for the next phase. Cool. Let's get some intel. Let's get the information on Medicine St. James. Yeah, soon I will be able to get an extra level, but other than that, I'm still waiting. Let's contact Medicine. Quite pretty. Thank you for meeting me, Mr. Thornton. Let's discuss what you told me over the phone. I know it sounds crazy. Where to begin? Just start at the beginning. And don't edit yourself. Just tell it. I work for the Veteran Combat Initiative, Fuck. VCI. They're a global military contractor. My boss, Mr. Marburg, I think he's involved in something illegal. So I checked it out, and your name came up several times in our database. Well, I'm a popular guy. Maybe Marburg wanted to meet me. It was cross-linked to several contracts within the VCI. Termination contracts. Marburg must be jealous of my good looks. Uh, do you have the contracts? That'd be valuable evidence. Not on me, no. That would have been too much to hope for, I suppose. No worries, we'll figure this out. Mr. Thornton, I'm not sure what to do next. Go to the authorities? Is there someone I should notify, or...? Madison, you did the right thing warning me, and I appreciate it. I probably shouldn't have accepted your call. I think that may make things worse for you. For me? I think I was a little more worried about you. And I appreciate it. I'll do whatever I can to protect you. You need to look out for yourself first. Mike, Marburg is going to try and kill you. What are you going to do? Miss St. James, you've only been employed by the VCI for a short time, and as Marburg's assistant... That's an important position, especially for a man of his influence. Yes. I was abroad studying art history, but when it comes to paying the bills, I thought I would apply for an administrative assistant position. The language skills helped. VCI does a lot of work with foreign governments. My point is, what you discovered is sensitive information. This could prove dangerous for you. I know. I need those files. Are they in the VCI branch office? I don't know what you're looking for. But the VCI office in Rome isn't Marburg's personal office. He does most of his work off-site, or when he travels. But he's here now. So where would he store the information while in Rome? He has a villa. I've been there several times. If the files exist, I'm guessing they'd be there. Along with Marburg? Yes. Give me the address. Can you get me in? What? Passcodes, details on the security system, anything would be helpful. I can give you the address, but that other information... Trust me. If you can get me into the mansion, I'll get the information, and then your boss goes away for good. Mr. Thornton, Marburg is... I've never seen him angry, but everything about him... He's a dangerous man to cross. I'll protect you. If he gets by me, then no one can protect you. Uh, all right. Mr. Thornton, I trust you. If I can help you, I will. I can get you the address to the villa, and the names of the files you need to search for. Then that's all I need. Come with me. Okay. Well, I bet we fucked something up because we haven't obtained as many relations as we could, but I think it's okay. In the usual coincidence, Marburg's executive assistant, Madison St. James, learned of a contract taken out against Agent Thornton's life by her superior, Conrad Marburg. Okay. We brought her to our safe house. Okay, fair enough. 
devastating attack on a U.S. base in Dahran has left several Marines dead. An early morning Anything raid on the by news? members of an as of yet unidentified group killed 20 soldiers and left over 30 injured. U.S. military sources say that the weapons used to be. At the, Michael, attached is a file with a name, social security number, and verification info for a false identity key to a Swiss bank account. Please accept this bribe to get you to stop emailing dumb jokes like this ever again. 25k though. Dossier information, Dale's Wood. Selling books on terrorism say yes and point to a reason. Tragic. Okay, let's see what else have we got. Okay guys, I thank you very much for watching. Next time, I guess we're going to visit the Moscow. Maybe actually we're going to complete a couple of missions there. Maybe Taipei, I'll see what we can get. We're basically going to do the easiest missions first to get some experience. We're almost at the next level, so I thank you very much for watching. Stay with me. Bye for now.